Welcome everyone back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom Blood, Episode 5. What happened last time? Last time we learned sort of how the how the the powers are gonna work in this show. The, there's like the ripple mm -hmm. that's going on, and uh, JoJo learned that, and he was able to to uh, fully activate it during battle with his glass of wine in hand, mm -hmm. and uh, kill one one of the. They called them, I think, both zombies and vampires. So I don't know what. I don't. So they called him Jack of the Shadow. I'm pretty sure it was Jack the Ripper. Oh. Is what is what the deal was. That's why I had all the knives. Mm-hmm. Because it's, you know, London. Yeah. <laughs> that was the idea. I didn't want to say that uh, too, pro like, early, but I think that you're supposed to know that uh, there. But, yeah, anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so he killed him uh, through the wall, and he, like, got all, like, disgusting. He used the overdrive. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the ripple overdrive. Yeah, so... Let's go, I suppose. We're gonna get right into this. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, support the official release, obviously. And check us out on Patreon. Get a week ahead. Get some uncuts. Whatever you feel like doing. Uh, if you want to support us and if you want to get ahead on JoJo and many other things. Patreon.com slash Fullcast. Well, let's go. JoJo episode 5. A prison. I feel like Dio will be... Heading there <laughs> and recruiting all of the prisoners. I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> There's only 517 people. Spoilers! <laughs> little urchin. <laughs> Let's let him have it. <laughs> like the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite Not as quite, graceful. Yeah. <laughs> Two quid. I love how they add that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I had to wade through the water. Yeah. <laughs> He's so invested. Yeah. <laughs> I love like the uh, the cartoonish zombies like yeah. with the viking helmets and shit like <laughs> I 
<laughs> those pose. Ah! Oh my god, his blood is like freezing as it flies into the air. <laughs> that poor kid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, his arm is flocked. His hand is like frost bitten. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Huff and puff. It's only halfway done. That felt like a whole episode. We've been watching too much Naruto. With one finger! Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Mary Stewart. <laughs> the alt history. They're huge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, it's like invading him. Ah. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> the most cliche lines ever. But it works. Oh my fucking god. It works so well, though. <laughs> I wonder if they're real. I wonder I wonder if they're based on real people. Because obviously Mary and Elizabeth are real. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are the 
axe is like the axe is like broken. Oh, it broke oh. the axe. <laughs> it broke many. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. Ew! <laughs> Got your nose. Such a classic. We could just defeat him easily but, with but both I of us. But I respect him. I respect his tenacity. <laughs> In a shocking <laughs> twist. <laughs> I love that. the water on the color change the palette swap i like it i really like it when they do that oh shit <laughs> impressive An underwater battle. What do you think he's gonna do? He has to breathe in order to mm -hmm. use him and... Hmm. <laughs> the battle psychology like Zapelli was talking about. <laughs> Following the toy gun. <laughs> How fucking smart can you be? I mean, he is an ar archaeologist, but like still. He's got a full lung full of air. Oh shit, and it can go through the water. Turquoise. Super over the top. It yeah. felt, they pack a lot into these episodes. They really do. I thought I thought the same as you that when we were at the halfway point, that was like the end of it. The halfway point? Like when it oh, like did that, episode, I, yeah, episode. yeah. I thought that it that was like the end because yeah. so much happens. They got we got like the full backstory of these random guys that are probably gonna get killed like next episode. Tell us if they're real. Uh, I'm sure I might I might Google it between now and when this goes up, but like maybe I won't. And I'll be surprised. Uh, but like, I it sounds like they're they're real. Like yeah. the way they're talking about it, it sounds like they took like uh, Iraqi took some people from from history and mm -hmm. and fucked with their backstory a little bit or even just didn't. or didn't and then just yeah i don't know i don't know uh obviously uh mary and elizabeth that's a real thing from history but like yeah i don't know about the knights anyway but yeah that whole backstory and like everything that the whole first it, fe it feels like we're already, like, most of the way... Like, we covered so much ground. I think it's... Uh, like I said, I think we've been watching too much Naruto, but it feels like this fight's moving super fast. Yeah, and I, I love... The guy can use his hair for some... He just has very luxurious hair that can now be used as an arm. Well, it's like the ripple. 
It's like they have the yeah, opposite. Yeah, he, he can. He uses like his. He like can suck the blood through his hair. But he can control it, similar mm-hmm. to how they control, like how because what John Jonathan is doing when he like punches through the water, he's like sending the ripple through mm-hmm. the water. But the ripple is moving. The water isn't actually moving. It's just the energy that he's sending through it. It's similar to how he's using his hair. He's sending sort of energy through the hair mm-hmm. and uh, using it like something. But yeah. Um. Yeah, and apparently the reason that they're so huge is because their like hate made them large, mm-hmm. which is interesting. Uh, it's interesting that they that they even choose to explain why they're so massive. Yeah. Uh. Because I feel like, especially a lot of times in anime, some guys are just, like, absolute Mountains. units, <laughs> and there's, they just are. Yeah. But they, they gave an ex- Like, ev- because every- like, Jojo is already huge. Like, he's a huge guy. He's bigger than me. <laughs> like- uh, but, but then there's these guys who are, like, t- ten of Jojo. Yeah. Um, and they give an explanation for that, which is kind of cool, and- yeah, I don't know. It's an it's interesting thing, and Dio's just like, yeah, I was inspired by these guys, how they hated humanity so much when they died. So I just went and found them and dug them up, yeah, and uh, brought them back. And now they, and then he's just like, yeah, don't worry, this fi- this fight will be over soon. I don't even I don't even give two fucks about Jojo. Once this scar is gone, that's enough of him. Yeah, there will be there will be no memory. Once, yeah, because he's it's so beneath me. Mm-hmm. I'll just go and destroy this entire town while this fight's happening. Yeah, pretty badass. <sighs> and then he dives down. Yes, because he has the knowledge that this has been excavated many times, and therefore there is air trapped underneath the rocks. Yeah, and he is skilled enough to only breathe in the air and not also some of the water. <laughs> As it's, like, coming up. I suppose so. But there you go. That's pretty cool. And Dio is just, like... (laughs) Yeah, the crazy poses, like... And when uh, Zapelli first attacked, he was just, like, this with his one arm back and, like, his chin up Oh, yeah, I I totally forgot that that was even in this episode. The whole frostbite thing and Speedwagon just heated him up and he's t- he's like put it to his chest yeah he's like people uh when when people got frostbite they used to put their arms inside of a dead seal or whatever <laughs> but instead just use my chest mm-hmm. <laughs> that one friend who is always like a million degrees too hot in any weather <laughs> <laughs> yeah great episode let's go let's move yeah. on to the next one hope you guys enjoyed uh we can head on patreon and on cuts, etc. Thank you for watching. <laughs>